Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Before I start our candle wax reading, I want to remind everyone that we soon will have a candle wax course. I'm going to leave the information in the box down below, also in the comment sections. Yes, this is the first time that I will teach you uh, how to read wax and many other fun things. So if you want such course, it's going to start on February 8th. Please email me as soon as possible to take uh, the space and I'll send you all the price list and everything else you need to know about the course. I'm very very excited. Uh, I hope you too. Uh, and uh, today we're gonna do candle wax because um, I feel like the energy is so strong. It's a full moon. Even though it's a timeless reading, we're gonna look at your upcoming weeks. But especially if you hear uh, during the full moon or the upcoming weeks after the full moon, this is gonna be very um, should be very resonating with you or should be very strong for you. And uh, you may choose from those two cups or two candles. Today we have different colors of candles. I just ordered <laughs> a red candle and pink candle. Pile one or pile two. So let's start with pile number one. Hello pile one, whoever chose the red color. How are you doing? Let's see what you need to know for the upcoming weeks or so. Full moon energies for those who are watching now. But it's timeless. I just saw that someone will truly uh, try to prove you something here or push you towards something. I see two people uh, during a conversation. Somebody may call you or just approach you to tell you that, okay, uh, we should do that and they will kind of push you towards this idea. Maybe it's your spouse that will push you their new uh, crazy idea that come, came into their head, I don't know. Or somebody, maybe your friend, family member, a co-worker, business partner. They will try and prove you that uh, their idea should be amazing. You should go for it. You should uh, try it. Maybe even invest money because I see money uh, can uh, you know play a role in it. Or maybe somebody will come to you and tell you, okay, uh, let's do this business. Let's do this project. Uh, we just have to invest a certain amount of money. And the advice here is to slow down, to set your priorities and say, listen, I heard you, I need some time to process. Don't give your answer right away. I hear that you need time to process and count, uh, count your pentacles basically. So whoever is about to push you towards something, you're going to feel the push. It's not when somebody just gives you the idea or just offers you something, but you can take it, you cannot, you, you, sh you may, you may not. Here it's a push. Pay attention to that. What else for pile one? I see a specific moment in time. If you have uh, young kids and you take them to kindergarten or somewhere, you may forget their shoes or you may forget you may forget certain items or forget uh, I see look for them under the shelf or in lost and found. Guys, this is so specific. I don't even know who needs this information, <laughs> but whatever you lost or will lose, you may found find weeks later eventually okay with something related to your kids 
could be grandkids as well. What else? Okay, pile number one. Someone wants to um, contact you with their um, feelings, emotions. They're very, very emotional about you, especially maybe if it's during full moon, obviously. <laughs> Uh, they may be very, very emotional for you. Um, they may even think that they have grown feelings for you. But mainly it happens uh, because you rejected this person or you didn't give them a chance. Um, it doesn't mean they don't have those feelings, but I feel like they feel... Um, how do I say this word? Defensive? Or... It's like you didn't... Maybe they said something and they feel like you didn't respect what they said. Or you didn't take them seriously. Somebody would try and approach you because... Uh, they think they have feelings. Why? Again, I say they think because there is a heart and it's reversed they may think that their feelings are real but most likely it's their ego that uh, wants a proof that they are worthy for some reason if you pile one will tell them yes or will give them a chance they're gonna feel worthy maybe they cherish you a lot maybe they see you as uh, an example of um, an amazing partner What else for pile one? Expect to receive news when you're gonna say, what the hell? I don't know why this comes to me. I rarely say those things. And you're gonna be uh, like surprised. This is gonna be about uh, random things or um, not much related to you. I would say not blood related, but kind of um, weird or it's going to be about some people or person that you're not connected to as much, but it's going to really um, even scare you maybe for them, not for yourself. You're like, wow, really? This is this happened to them? Oh my god. What else? I see two people. Uh, one of them is wearing uh, a gown, or uh, and the other one is helping them to dress. Either it's you that will be um, going somewhere and you will be dressing, somebody will help you. Or you will be helping another person. Maybe this person will perform and you will be their uh, assistant. Maybe it's your job to assist. But uh, either you will be um, the main character here or you will help the main character. Pile one, why so many people are upset with you that you either rejected them or you're not paying attention to them? Uh, I sense there is more than one person that kind of... They feel um, that their feelings are not taken uh, seriously. Basically... Expect to have un unplanned, um, unseen <laughs> feelings from other people, admirers, people that you know, you knew before. They would want your attention a lot. The upcoming weeks. Not that you 
in need of it but you will see <clears throat> you will see this coming you maybe you already see this happening I see two people it's like this they laying in the same bed but they kind of opposite from each other like maybe it means that you and your partner if you have a partner or you have some a friend or somebody you look in different directions now you kind of um, fell apart energetically mentally physically it's like you may be in the same bed, but you're not feeling each other anymore. You're not connecting with each other anymore. And in the upcoming weeks, this subject or topic will really bother you. And you will uh, think about this a lot. Yes, especially if you have heated conversations or arguments. Did you hear the candle just now? Uh, you will be reviewing your life here with some person or if it's a friend you will be reevaluating is this really a friend that I want to continue being friends with what else Uh -huh. pile number one someone is currently maybe while even you watching observing you uh, keeping an eye on you finding information about you this is not bad they just want to know the truth somebody wants to get deeper into a certain situation especially if you guys are in a third party I have to say it if you're in a third party and um you know there is somebody else on the other side this person from the other side is uh, trying to find information about you um, and I want to say because it's a full moon energy that's the reading that's how it's called uh, truth may come out so be careful if you don't want to get recognized but also um, if this is you who's searching for information on the other person or on a third party, you're trying to find if they're guilty, if they're, um, if someone's cheating and so forth, uh, be careful because you may find out the truth and it may not be easy or kind to you. Okay, so be careful what you wish for. That's the saying. If you really want to know, that's great. But if you just want to know but you're afraid to know I wouldn't recommend to go that deep or that far with this information whatever it means to you guys uh, I'm just channeling but for um, some of you it's somebody else is trying to find out about you even if it's not a third party but they're somehow jealous curious uh, person um, your enemy I don't know somebody is uh, finding information about you or they just want to know if you're dating someone, if you who, who you're sleeping with, I don't know, or where you go on weekends, what you're doing during your uh, resting time, who are you communicating with. This is like, wow, okay. <laughs> I feel like investigation is happening here. Again, don't try now think that somebody is following you or anything like that. I don't see danger ab about it, like physical, but if you really feel resonated with this information, um, then you know. Then you know. And soon you will find out. Maybe even randomly you will find out that and this reading will be confirmed to you. I just heard say no more for some reason.
Okay. What else? For pile one. I see like a seal, you know, the um, animal, a seal. And while I was talking about, I want to say some sealed information will be revealed. Something that was closed, hidden, will come to life. For some of you, uh, something that will come to life, come true, um, come out to the surface, will make you smile. You're gonna, you know, the smile like um, not an, not a happy smile, not a sad smile. It's a I thought so smile. I knew so smile. For some, this is uh, like that. Okay, let me look a little bit more into your wax. I see somebody with the glasses maybe uh, keeping an eye on you, just saying. They wear glasses or they you sometimes wear glasses, I don't know. Or this is just talking about them spying on you. Someone's spying on you. Okay. Pay attention in the upcoming weeks. If somebody will give you... I see somebody gives you something like an ice cream cone suddenly. Or um, money you shaking hands with someone something they give you your their hand or, or into your hand this person will play some role in your life after it could be new person in your life or it could be somebody that uh, will come back even for some maybe you have a date with them or you will see them again Somebody you will meet or see that will play a certain role in your life afterwards. Like they never did. I hear if you already know this person, the way they things will happen next, they, it wasn't like that before. Or it's not going to be the same way it was before. Or it may be a new person. Pile one, uh, there are two people, they come up as, <laughs> I mean, uh, they, um, they come up as a fat cat. For some reason I hear a black cat or maybe, maybe they have dark features or hair. And one is a, um, is a chicken, chicken and cat. Um, they, oh, I even ha have another cat over here. So two to three people, they gather together. <laughs> I don't know if they gather together during lunch, holidays, some of them ha uh, are heavy. Uh, and they talk about you, they gossip. There is, there is certain gossip going on. I would say on the other side, like means you not aware of it or you don't see it, you're not invited to those uh, events, <laughs> you're not invited to their table. Uh, but they're talking about you, uh, they are, uh, they actually have pleasure to um, communicate with each other, to gossip about you. Not that they're in your, give you harm or anything, <laughs> just know that there's some people uh, they are very different in shape here or they, they could be very different in how they look. Mm, gather together to talk about your life. Somebody very, very curious about your life. Um, and they have nothing else to do just to sit there and talk. Anyways, that's what I had for you, Pile 1. Thank you very much. Let me know in comments. And I'm going for Pile number 2. 
Hello Pao Tzu, whoever chose a pink candle. Let's look at you. Pile one was quite interesting. <laughs> Let's see. Pile two. What you need to know. Pile two may be gambling this week. Does it mean specifically gambling money? Could be, but more uh, gambling with their decisions. Pile two will be very. Um, how do I say this word? Very playful the upcoming weeks. You will risk but risk in your favor for instance if you have several people you you know dealing with whatever it means to you could be love could be career whatever it is you will be kind of testing those people how they treat you how they react to things that you say it's not more of a manipulation, but you will be testing them. You will be gambling even your relationship with them <laughs> because you're not afraid to lose anyone. I feel like pile two are very, not just confident, but kind of you work through uh, this issue when you're afraid to lose something or someone and you more confident. In general, pile two very uh, structured here at the moment. And you will be the observer of your own game again if somebody will start you know writing I'm not playing games I don't want this or that maybe it's not your pile or maybe you don't get me right or you're not for long on my channel and you don't know my way of reading or um, <clears throat> advising but You will be playing your game with your rules. Why? Because you're not gonna tolerate, you're not gonna try to please anyone. And this is gonna be your, this is what will give you the best reward and clarity on who is with you and who is not. And who is honest and who is lying. What else? <clears throat> but you're not going to be strong or um, about it. You're going to be very soft. Not sensitive, but soft. Soft energies will help you this uh, upcoming weeks throughout this full moon phase. It's a timeless reading, by the way. You can still watch another time, but <clears throat> mainly it's about full moon um, energy and the upcoming few weeks. For some of you, you will be um, you will become a boss or a manager or somebody who manage other people. You may become an advisor you may get a position that higher than it was before some will get uh, a raise uh, and <clears throat> it will require from you to be i feel the the energy of the emperor i would even say that <clears throat> because i'm describing your energy you will be the emperor but in reality you will be the empress in disguise because you will take the lead softly it's a soft strength it's a soft power like the empress any gender you can be any gender but uh, just wanna explain to you what I mean here you're not gonna be strict or aggressive you're gonna take the lead with 
certain softness guys pile two it's really like uh i feel like you come into another level maybe in your career in your at your job maybe with people around you that you will um now i even want to say train to respect you more i feel like you maybe you weren't respected enough before or people didn't take you seriously now you're kind of taking this lead <clears throat> To show the world how they can treat you or how should they treat you and you're gonna you're gonna like this and you're gonna like what you see actually because some people will be aggressive about this they're not gonna like your change other people they will um, say okay I respect this and I go for it and that's how you will realize who is right for you and who is wrong. It could even be in a relationship, as I said. You will see who wants to continue going with you or who wants to be removed from your energy, from your life, for good. <clears throat> that's why I'm saying you're taking a risk because you don't know how other people will react to that new energy of yours. <clears throat> what else for pile two? A soft lead is what you need, I hear. But it's still a lead. It's not a following. For some of you, you will be soon in a dark room or a room that has a little light lighting maybe it's a, it could be like a place like a restaurant or a, a library or something where there is more dark than light why it shows this place for some of you you will be going on a date to such place for others of you you may spend time with your friends or alone there but it's gonna be good for your energy it's gonna actually impress you even or make you happy this is an energy charge this room or this place is the energy char charge for you for some of you it's a new place that you will Afterwards, you will continue going to, I don't know, maybe it's someone's basement, your friend's basement, where you're going to, uh, you know, write down music in there, um, dance in there, I don't know. Practice something even. know what I heard I go I mean you go I go somebody may tell you in the upcoming weeks I'll go where you go I'm re this could be metaphoric what it means is you may make a certain decision about your life could be sudden even for you and if you have a person or a partner or a family member with you maybe it's in your pet even your pet but because pets they cannot talk that's why I'm not you know considering that but anyways maybe you'll take your pet with you but somebody will tell you if you decided this I'm in I'll go with you I'll support you there will be somebody who will support your idea for instance you will suddenly decide that you, you want to move to another city or country and that's going to be your decision and your partner will support your your family member for others you will suddenly decide to go back to college or any decision 
I hear any decision it could be about relationship, about career, about your health, or you'll suddenly decide to join some, uh, I don't know, sport team and your partner say, you go, I go, it's okay, I'll support you. Or you decide to join a certain religion even maybe. Wow. Okay. You know why? Because somebody has a big heart for you. They have feelings for you. They have true emotions, feelings for you. Uh, and that's why they will support you. For others, if it's not going to resonate with you, somebody here in the center, you see the heart is in the center. Somebody has deep feelings for you and they're true. And in the upcoming weeks, you will understand exactly who has the true feelings. Especially if you have, uh, because I see you may have several people or admirers or people around you. Could be love, could be uh, re uh, relatives, doesn't matter. But you have people around you that they may say or said before that they love you or they care for you. But you never truly knew who are they or are they honest? Is this real love? In the upcoming weeks, you will find out exactly uh, who you will find out exactly who cares for you oh my god while i was saying that somebody you know somebody just texted me and confirmed <laughs> confirmed what i just said i mean in a good way um and that's that's what i want to say there will be con it will be confirmed some way some reason You will understand who exactly cares for you. I see somebody will uh, um, I see a person they pick um, they like strengthen their hand or they try to reach out to you this is more of an older person or a wise person or they have certain you know uh, I, it, the image is like it's a uh, imagine a hermit in, in tarot right they're raising a hand or they're trying to stop you even or follow you or approach you you may get an advice from a very wise individual that will tell you it, it could be even a stranger it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be somebody you know could be your teacher, your professor. That may say, okay, uh, I see that you need help with this, or I see that uh, you need an advice from for something. I'll help you. Or maybe it's your parent that will say, listen, you know, sometimes people um, don't even understand when they give the right advice. They just say something and then you come uh, back to, you know, to yourself and you like thinking about it. And like these few words meant more than all the talk that I heard throughout the whole month. But those two words, they were more meaningful, more important, more helpful than anyone else's words. And it's strong and it's true so uh, pay attention to wise people here 
or people that had or have certain experience that will advise you something and maybe even a solution to your problem that you never saw this way of solving it you always thought it's mm, it could all be it can only be seen from one way but in reality it But in reality, there were so many other ways to figure it out or to solve it. So pay attention to this kind of person. It doesn't have to be a man that doesn't have to be look uh, like a hermit. <laughs> could be, could be even a woman, but something they will tell you will be important let me see a little bit more and so ah it's hot still some of you will be in the upcoming weeks attending a certain uh, either it's a gender party or kids party because i see many key toys here balloons you may be invited to some kind of event or a birthday of a child or as I said gender party whatever, whatever everything that's related to a child and maybe because it's a pink candle maybe even girls it's a it's a girl <laughs> for some I just maybe spoiled the gender party for you and it's a girl, I don't know. But you may be being around kids or something to do with kids. Okay, a random, random um, message. This is not for the upcoming few weeks. This is for the upcoming three months. You may become pregnant. Not somebody in your family, not somebody you know, you, about to. Uh, if you not don't want this to happen, be careful because um, the chances are high. If you want, make sure you, you know, your partner knows about it at least <laughs> or who you want your baby from. Um, I, f I feel the, the, the chances are very high in the upcoming three months for you. To become pregnant again this is just for those please don't write to me i don't want any baby or i'm not in the right age just you know if you not re in general i want to give a certain uh, information to all people who watch readings in general if you see that it doesn't not just it doesn't resonate with you it's not applicable to you it's just simply this information sh it should be skipped learn how to skip unneeded information and not just in readings in your life in general learn how to stay away or not take uh, on yourself things that not even related to you okay anyways that's what i had for you today for those who want uh, to join my candle wax course please email me i leave the information in the box down below in the comment section i'm very excited about this course i hope you too anyways i love you all and i'll see you soon bye bye